I've been in this house 10 years, February. Brought the kids up and I've got six children, so they're, and they've all got babies now, so it's been a right busy house. <laughs> We're moving to Somerset, so we've got a big, we've got a downsize, as my husband's not well, he's got cancer. And um, we're moving to Somerset in a bungalow. The reasons for Phil's health, really. We've been preparing to move since about June. The first time I met Michelle was when Steve had to pack up work, when he was on the sick to start with. I went, went to the um, Lewisham homes and I had to get all my benefits sorted, and I didn't know what I was doing. And really, I met Michelle when she saved my life, really, because <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing at the time and what with Steve having to pack up work and, you know, and the illnesses, we didn't know about what benefits we could got. And Michelle and Fabio helped me out. Michelle makes you feel at home. She makes you feel safe and uh, she... I'm going to cry in a minute. She makes you feel like she knows what she's doing. <laughs> Steve was very ill, and so we kept getting all reminders and bills, and I just sort of took him into my shell and she said, right, we sort this out, and she done it. That's it. And it went for her being a nut house, I think, so. <laughs> and that's it, really. And Fabio was a lot of help. He used to phone me every couple of weeks, see how we was getting on, and just friendly, just make you feel at ease, so that you, you know, you're not on your own. Talton in Somerset, we're moving. We've got a nice little bungalow, which would be a lot easier for Steve and myself, because I'm getting older. That's it, really. We got that through Seaside and Country Homes with Michelle's help as well. And my sister lives an hour and a half away. She's not very well, so it's better for all of us, really. So, And I want to give this up for a family, because this has been a family home. It's too big for us, and I feel guilty really being here because there's two empty bedrooms, and I know because my daughters have been in the same situation in hostels. I know how many kids there is looking for places with their kids, you know, so. Well, leaving Lewisham, I will be a bit sad because I've met a lot of nice people, like Michelle and friends down the market and that, and a couple of neighbours. But I feel like it's a fresh new start. I'm not going to look backwards, I'll be looking forward now. Once Steve gets better, and that's it really, take the dogs out, just a peaceful life, a bit more, just me and him, quiet, you know what I mean? That's what he needs now, get better. <laughs>